But let's also be honest. Sometimes um, the decisions that you have to make as a leader are kind of difficult. Like let's say we espouse teamwork or we espouse diversity. I'll pick my favorite one of the day for the moment. Um, And you sort of generally believe it, but I now have to make a choice between who of two candidates is going to end up, or, you know, we have to cut and we're going to end up. It's very easy to say it. And it's very difficult to actually do it in the moment. And I can imagine someone who practices their values every single day, but there's still stuff with a tough decision. So now what? What's your advice in that moment? I'm so glad that you brought that up because you're right. It's a complex process. And um, the organizations that we spoke to all think of values as living, growing things, right? They're not just, you know, I believe in integrity and this is the way that it is. Whenever you encounter a new situation, you have to use judgment about how you interpret that value and how you act on it. And there are often times when values might be competing with each other, right? right? The the classic example of this is, you know, your friend is about to get married and, you know, she's like, do you, do, do I look terrible in my wedding dress? And, you know, are you honest? Are you kind? Are you, you know, helpful? Like what's the decision that you make there? Because you probably believe in all of those values, but you have to choose when to to pull out certain tools from the tool belt, right? And um, so this is kind of part of a, you know, something that's not, uh, that's kind of incorporated into one of the later principles, which is about growth mindset. It's about um, the idea that you can continue to get better, that people make mistakes, that you can learn from those mistakes and that you Mm -hmm. um, have to incorporate that Mm -hmm. into the process of, Um, you know, being a part of an organization and and being a leader. 